Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Scripture. Today I'm going to be reading from the New King James Translation, and in this video I'm going to be reading uh, the first, the Paul's first letter to Timothy, uh, chapter one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, leave in the comments if you have any any books or chapters you'd like to hear me read, and um, share with a friend. Uh, this is life-saving, soul-saving content um, straight from the Word of God. Uh, before I begin, let me say a little prayer. Uh, dear Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I just want to thank you for all that you do. Um, I thank you for allowing us to read by read our bibles to own our bibles freely lord i just pray for our country that you just fill it fill the heart of our country with your spirit lord we thank you for all that you do and we love you so much in jesus name i pray amen this is first timothy Chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Christ Je of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God our Savior and the Lord Jesus Christ our hope, to Timothy, a true son in the, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and, and Jesus Christ our Lord. As I urged you, when I, as I urged you when I went into Macedonia, remain in Ephesus that you may charge some that they teach no other doctrine, nor give heed to fables and endless genealogies which cause disputes rather than godly edification which is in faith. Now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart from a good conscience and from sincere faith from which some having strayed have turned aside to idle talk desiring to be teachers of the law understanding neither what they say nor the things which they affirm but we know that the law is good if one uses it lawfully knowing this that the law is not made for a righteous person but for the lawless and insubordinate, for the ungodly and for the sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of, of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for fornicators, for sodomites, for kidnappers, for liars, for per perjurers, and if there's any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, according to the gospel, to the glorious gospel of the blessed God which was committed to my trust. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Although I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and an insolent man, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief and the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love which are in Christ Jesus this is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief However, for this reason, I obtained mercy that in me first, Jesus Christ might show all long suffering as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. Now to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, to God who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge I commit to you son timothy according to the prophecies previously made concerning you that by them you may wage the good the good warfare 
having faith and good conscience, which some have rejected concerning the faith, ha have suffered shipwreck, of whom are Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I delivered to Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme.